lot of people don't believe in spirituality. So many people have made fun of me. They've talked down on me for my spiritual beliefs and the things that I say, even people I truly cared about. Not realizing that you are truly stuck in the matrix. You are truly stuck on the 3D realm. If you think this, you think this, you think this, you think this, what you see, you think this is what life is about. You think what's on the physical, what's in the physical realm is what's important. You never took a second and thought, what else is there? What else is out there? What is causing these things to happen? You just think because you have been programmed to believe that the only thing that matters is what's going on in the physical realm. The 3D is very insignificant. Your rank in the 3D, your, your jewels, your money, your cars, your clothes, your cash is nothing. It's insignificant compared to your spiritual ranking. Your spiritual ranking trumps all else. You can see a homeless man on the street and you will look down on him and think he's nothing as you're driving by in your BMW. And you look over him at him in disgust and take a sigh of relief because thank God that's not you. Not even realizing that homeless man over there may be above you in the spiritual world. He may be above you in the spiritual realm. His ranking is higher than you because the thing about it is when you die, you can, you're not taking your BMW with you. It's not coming with you. Even if you do have a BMW, but you know in your heart that you're a good person, that you know that this was just a purchase that you made because it was a goal of yours to have this car. You want to have nice things. You live in a nice area, but you know you're a good person. You know you got a clean heart. You know that you are doing things righteously. You know that you are constantly working on your mental health. You know you're constantly working on your spirit. You know you are trying to send love and positivity out into the world the best that you can. You know you're not out here being harmful or manipulative or selfish. I'm not saying that you're a bad person. I'm not talking about you. The chosen ones have nice things. <laughs> chosen ones have mansions. That's our birthright to have those nice things. But the point of that is, you if you're not right in here, those nice things don't matter and they're not going to save you. Spiritual rank trumps physical rank every time. Because we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And how you experience this earthly plane says a lot about your spirit. As above, so below. It's not worth your soul. It's not worth your spirit. Nothing is worth that. In the generational curse breakers, most of us finish last. Most of us finish towards the end because we're the dreamers. We, we take the fool's journey and are willing to get laughed at. We're willing to get criticized because that's what the fool's journey is. We take the road less traveled because we have no desire to be like anybody else. It doesn't feel right to be like anybody else because we are the true leaders of our communities. A leader takes the role less traveled. A leader is not somebody who does what everybody else is doing, bites off everybody else, does what looks good to social media. You're not a leader by doing that. You are a follower by definition because you are too concerned about what other people's thoughts and opinions of are you. You're making them, you are putting, you are allowing other people's thoughts and opinions of your journey, dictate your journey, your journey. It's your journey. How does it sound to allow somebody else to dictate your path and your journey for you? Somebody who is literally not walking in your shoes and has their own destiny, has their own journey, has their own things that they need to be worried about. You're gonna let that person decide what you do.
you are so focused on getting ahead. Somebody who is focused on getting ahead, somebody is focused on trying to get there first, subconsciously is worried about the people around them and their opinions. When you are focused on your own journey, you're not, fo you're not worried about who gets there first. You are only focused on you. You are only focused on yourself. You are taking your time because there is no rush because guess what? You know you're going to get there anyway. The chosen ones are going to get there anyway because it's our destiny. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Whatever age God said that you were going to accomplish whatever these multiple different things in your life that you were going to accomplish, you're going to accomplish them anyway. There's no rush. There's no competition. I don't, I don't need to compete with anybody when all I see is me. I don't see you. I don't see anyone else. I only see me and I see God. That's it. I don't, see, there's, I don't see anything else. Nothing else exists outside of what's going on in my personal life and my personal journey and what matters to me and who matters to me. But there's never, there's no competition. And somebody who lives their life to compete is a follower and is focused on everyone else around them instead of being focused on themselves. Do you see where I'm going with this? Yeah, it's good to have a competitive spirit. Of course. There's nothing wrong, wrong with a friendly competition. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about somebody who is ruthless in their pursuit of their goal, that they will do anything, and I mean anything, to get there. They will burn their entire house down with them in it. If you were in there and you, they feel like you're competition. Because they would rather both of you die than to have to witness your ascension that was inevitable anyway, and you were always going to get there anyway. You are not chosen because you took the easy way out and you were doing things to look good for social media. That does not make you chosen. You are not chosen because of the things that you have. What makes you chosen is your mindset and your journey and your destiny and your relationship with God. That makes you chosen. It has, did I say anything about materials? Did I say anything about followers? Did I say anything about money? Did I say anything about designer? No, that does not make you chosen. Some of y'all just got lucky. If we're really being honest. Some of you stepped on a lot of people to get to where you are. That does not make you chosen. Because a chosen individual knows they don't have to do that. I don't have to step on anybody to get to anywhere because there's nothing blocking my path. My path is lit up and there's not there's nothing in my way. There's no people in my way. The only obstacles that come on my path are the obstacles that God put in my path to make me stronger. But there is no competition when you are a generational curse breaker because you have a mission you have a destiny it's it's been written right it doesn't matter how many detours i'm still going to continue to walk my path it does not matter what other people say I'm still going to walk that path because it's my destiny. Some people don't understand and they need to go look up the definition of destiny. Your enemies think they can stop your destiny and they probably don't even know what that means. That is impossible. It is, an, it is impossible for anyone outside of yourself to stop your destiny, period. It's not possible. When you are sent here to break generational curses, yeah, that shit is hard. It's hard. It's not meant to be easy because you are building strength. You are building knowledge because when you get to where you're going, you're going to be met with a whole different level 
I don't want to say problems, but situations are going to arise and you can't react to those situations the same way you reacted to those old situations. You cannot react to people the way you reacted to those old people, but you would not have known that if you did not go through those trials. How would you have known how to react in situations if you did not already go through them? How would you have known to handle that person that's going to try to get a rise out of you when you are the CEO of a company if you didn't learn how that would affect you when you were just the dishwasher? You wouldn't have. And that's the point, is building strength. Things do not happen to you, they happen for you. Because your destiny is your destiny. You're gonna get there, babe. <laughs> You're gonna get there, it's gonna happen. It's already happened. You just have not reached that point in time yet. There is a you right now who is a CEO of a company. There's a you right now who has a beautiful, loving family. There's a you right now that has already impacted and changed the entire world. You just have not reached that point in time yet, but it's already happened. That timeline already exists. And it doesn't matter how many times you get waved off your path, you're still going to get to that timeline because you were chosen by God and it is your destiny. Some of these people believe that their destiny is to troll you. They finally feel like they found their purpose when you came along because guess what? Now they can spend their time trolling you. Isn't that funny? There are people who believe that plotting on you and trolling you and mocking you is their destiny? That all they can do is sit around and speak on you to people that you don't even know and mock you and leave very irrelevant comments? These people believe that's their purpose. Oh, honey, they truly believe that you, you're, you understand that some of you are going to be on top. Some of you are destined for fame, even if you don't want it, baby, I'm sorry, you're destined for it and you're going to have it. And when you come across people who identify themselves as haters, understand when you came along you gave them a purpose or what they think is their purpose and they believe that is to mock you and troll you <laughs> and obsess over you they don't know if they want to support you or if they're a fan but don't worry about that just know that somebody with that mindset is already lost to believe consciously or subconsciously that their purpose is to troll you and to believe that it has any effect on your journey or your life because it doesn't. Because when you're chosen by God, you've been through all of that. You've already been through it. You know, like I, you are, you think that what you're doing is having an effect on a chosen individual. It's not because I've been through it already. I've dealt with worse before you. Do you understand? Are you not listening? I've, I've already dealt with worse. I've, I've dealt with the baddest of the bad. I've dealt with the biggest demons, okay? I've already, I've dealt with the worst. And you feel like knowing my story or not knowing it, that you trolling me and mocking me, and you think trolling and mocking somebody who's chosen by God and has crawled on their hands and knees and been kicked and laughed at and drowned and so many different things. You think your words are what's going to get me? I, I, I've, I've, I have escaped death so many times. Me and death have a relationship now. <laughs> but you think your, your words are going to, this is going to get her. This is going to get him, y'all. I'm going to say this and it's over with for him. That's so funny. You poor thing. 
people who are chosen, the generational curse breakers, we, we've been through it all. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to find a new purpose because all you're doing is creating more generational curses. Well, I'm, I'm breaking them and I'm being blessed for it because that's not easy. It's easy to create generational curses. Anybody can do that. That doesn't make you special. It doesn't matter what you have. If you're out here creating generational curses, what, what's special about that? What's special is taking the fool's journey. What's special is taking the role less travel and saying, hey, this is going to be hard. It's really going to hurt, but I'm going to do it because I'm strong and I'm a real boss. And it's just what I'm, I'm here to do. I accept the challenge. Challenge accepted. You can't, there's no comparison. There is no comparison to somebody who takes the easy way and the fast way because they just got to be first versus somebody who takes the long way and is okay with being last because we're not competing because you cannot compete where you do not compare. And we're gonna get there anyway, because the only person we're competing with is ourselves.